Around two schools we checked out today, we saw more police cruisers. On the first day of Aurora's closed campus policy, our cameras captured plenty of students off campus. It's a new rule implemented after a shooting on and nearer campus just before the Thanksgiving break. We thought during this time period, as we understand and examine what's happening with APD's investigation, it was a good precautionary measure to close that down for a couple of weeks while we evaluate what's happening in the community. Aurora police tell us there have been nearly 300 shootings so far this year. 135 people have been shot, 29 killed in gun violence. Additional mental health counselors have also been brought in to help Aurora students cope with fear and anxiety. Parents are also concerned. It has to be collective work, mm -hmm. including the community, the local city, state everywhere. You know, more safety measurement and more steps must be taken to make sure the kids are safe in this school. Superintendent Rico Munn says he believes the lack of connection with students during the pandemic and overall increase in violence in the city are partly to blame for the shootings. This isn't about what happened at Hinckley at Central. This is about what's happening in our community largely writ. Across Aurora, we've seen a significant increase in violence. I Parents are glad to see more security efforts, but they say they aren't enough. Carlos Cortez wants more, uh, you know, police around the school everywhere that could happen.